Hello angels, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Addie Danielle and today I'm going to be talking about five easy ways you can help the environment and reduce your carbon footprint. As many of you know, we are in a climate crisis right now. Global warming is affecting the planet and we're seeing some drastic changes in the weather. It is now time to act more than it ever so has been. And yeah, we really just need to do our part. So I'm gonna be telling you five easy ways that you can do something. They're not gonna be too difficult, nothing too crazy, just five little easy steps that you can take to reduce your carbon footprint. The first tip is something I just started about nine months ago and that is to cut out meat and dairy. Specifically red meat and the dairy industry are contributing a lot to carbon dioxide levels in the air because cow farts contain methane which is 30 times more powerful than carbon dioxide making a big effect on global warming the less you contribute to the meat and dairy industry the better we are because there is just mass production of dairy mass production of beef they're overpopulating cows and it is terrible for the environment even if you can't completely cut out meat or dairy, you can start doing little things like having one plant-based meal a day or just doing meatless Mondays at your house. Even just eating less meat and not completely cutting it out is is doing a part in the environment and doing amazing things. Americans are actually consuming 20% less beef than they were 15 years ago and that has helped reduce 180 million metric tons of CO2. So even just 20% less beef consumption has saved a ton of carbon dioxide in the air. So hopefully, I'm hoping that in the next 15 years from now, it goes up even more and we save even more. I am pretty strictly plant-based and if you guys are interested in seeing a what I eat in a day vegan edition or recipes or anything like that, that I can help you out with that, definitely let me know in the comments and I will do my best. The next tip is going to be to switch to reusable cotton pad. I don't know about y'all, this is mainly for girls, but if you take off your makeup with a cotton pad, which I do and I know a lot of people that do, or even a makeup wipe, all of those end up in the landfill and are not good for the environment. Anything that is a one-time use, you want to try and cut out. So. For me, I got these reusable cotton pads from Coco Kind to take off my makeup. They come with a pack of 14 and they come in this little mesh washable bag. They're basically just little microfiber cotton rounds that have a little thing for your fingers so you can just get it wet, put your makeup remover on here and take off your makeup and then obviously wash your face. I think these are awesome because you can literally just throw them in the bag and throw them in the washer to wash them or just like wash them in your sink or whatever you want to do. There's 14 so you can use seven, use it for a week, wash the other ones for the week. And they're only $18 which is not bad when you think about like how much cotton pads you end up buying. Definitely a much better choice for the environment and they're really cute and they're great for travel. So I absolutely love these and shout out to Coco Kind because they are always doing amazing things with their products to save the environment and I think that's really special. My next tip is to shop locally and support small businesses. So personally, I absolutely love going to my local farmer's market and eating seasonal vegetables and getting my vegetables from there besides from the grocery store. When you're buying a vegetable from a grocery store, on average, it's traveled 1,500 miles to get to you. All the fuel from the airplane and the car that you use to travel is now in the environment and the less that you can contribute to that and just shop locally where it's very little fuel needed to get to your plate. And you're also helping helping your local economy and supporting your local farmers. So it's great all around. And then supporting small businesses. Obviously, smaller businesses are not creating as much waste as these large scale consumer commercial companies. Like if, if you're shopping at a like local small business t-shirt company on Instagram versus, you know, Target, they're not creating as much waste and fuel and carbon dioxide in the air as like these big factory companies that have a whole factory with all kinds of things being used. So supporting small businesses can really help the environment and a lot of small businesses do a lot of recyclable packaging and making sure that their products are you know, degradable and all that. So definitely do your research and find small businesses that do their part in the environment and support them. My fourth tip is to thrift and repurpose everything. 
everything you can at least. Um, I like to get most of my clothes from the thrift store and that is helpful because instead of going out and buying a brand new piece of clothing, get this clothing that would otherwise be going to waste because it can really make a difference in the landfills if we just keep repurposing things like used furniture and all kinds of used electronics, so much stuff on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and all that stuff is awesome for helping create as little waste as possible. And then also to just repurpose everything that you have, like use your old like meat and hummus containers as Tupperware instead of going out and buying new Tupperware. If you finish using a skincare jar to reuse it in some way to create sauce, obviously clean everything out and, and make sure there's no residue left behind, but almost everything can be repurposed and reused so you don't have to throw it away and create waste. This is something I really like to do, just kind of get creative and find new purposes for things that I'm no longer using. And I think that that is a huge part in saving the environment because we just keep creating because of how easy things are. We're consumers, we're just buying new and keep creating new product when we can really just reuse what we have and create as little waste as possible. My fifth tip is to stop all single use plastic. That is paper towels paper plates, plastic forks, knives, spoons, anything that's like a single use item. I know that can be harder because there's more dishes and it may be more difficult if you don't have a dishwasher, but those single use items are really contributing to the environment and you're using them once and throwing them away and that's so much waste. If you think about like one family who uses all single use items instead of like glass or you know let's say they use a paper plate for every meal and there's seven of them I can't, like that is an insane amount of waste that is going into the landfill if you use dishes and metal forks and knives and another thing that's really great is you can get these flower napkins from amazon they have packs of 24 for about 14 dollars and they are super absorbent just like a paper towel it's the same fabric that's used in reusable diapers and you can just buy a 24 pack and use those instead of using paper towels. Paper towels are also horrible for the environment. They do make some that are more environmentally friendly like the bamboo ones, but they honestly suck. So I highly recommend just buying some from Amazon. I'll, I'll link some of my favorite ones in the description, but even if you just, let's say you buy that as a gift for your mom and tell her like, I want to stop buying paper towels and that little difference you can make is if everyone did that i mean you can think about the major effect it would have if everybody just stopped using paper towels or stopped using paper plates obviously there is instances where you do need them but for the most part in your home i think that paper towels are not a necessity those are just five simple ways that you can make a difference and i have so many more that i can think of if you guys want me to make another one of these videos i hope that you try some of them out and talk to your family about them and hopefully reduce your carbon footprint if you're wondering what your carbon footprint is there is a ton of carbon carbon footprint calculators that I will also link below so you can find out exactly how much you're contributing to the carbon dioxide in the air and I think it's really awesome to like learn where you can cut corners and help and do your part. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope that you guys are doing your part to save the environment. Mother Nature is super important to me and she should be to you. We are literally the inhibitors of this planet and it is up to us to take care of it. So anything that you can do to make a difference, I highly recommend. Even if you can't afford to do any of those things, if you can just share this video and get it to as many people as possible, so hopefully they can, and we can make a difference, my little earthlings. I love you all so much. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something and I will see you in my next video.